The Bold and Beautiful, show 4648, VTR 8032, 2005. You love her? I do. And she'll always know that. Thinking about you. Hector, I wanted to thank you for a wonderful evening last night and your friendship. You're a wonderful man, but that kiss should have never happened last night. Even though Ridge and I are separated, as long as I'm wearing this ring on my finger, I can't see you. Maybe that ring shouldn't be on your finger. Keep saving lives, Hector. I want to save yours. Bye. Here is exquisite. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, Thomas, these are good. These are really, really good. How can I know for sure? Well, you could find yourself a crystal ball and hope it tells you the truth. <laughs> I love Gabby, and winning is the only way that my parents will accept her as my wife. Winning isn't going to matter, Thomas. I am not going to let your future be decided by some fashion showdown. It's a long time. I made a commitment. But can you stay true to it? We know that we were meant to be together. I love you, Nick. Come to me. Come to me. is going on in this office if you need a honeymoon take it with my blessings but having you here distracted is not helping anyone you understand we have a tanker in Long Beach Harbor waiting for their clearances so they can unload their cargo and they are waiting on you I can't do it today this is your job son out of here. I gotta, I gotta get out of this office. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it. Hold it. D Dominic. What has gotten into you? Can you believe this? My art on fabrics. You know, I didn't know it was going to work, but with Eric's designs, 
It's perfect. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I think, uh, I think the fabric makers did a wonderful job. I wasn't talking about fabric. Where are you today? I don't know. I'm busy, you know. I've got a lot of work to do. I've got a lot to think about. You're thinking about Nick. Oh, Dante, I want to forget. I do. But you can't. He's married to your daughter now. So I'll just stay away from them. Time apart, memories fade, right? Cloth fades, not feelings. You're gonna have to deal with this, okay? You're gonna have to talk to Nick. You can't avoid him forever. man of responsibility, of control, but you know, to tell you the truth, lately I have seen very little of that. Well, I guess four tries at getting married takes its toll. All right, all right, but you are married. I mean, what's the problem, Dominic? I mean, the baby's all right, and... The baby's fine. Bridget's fine. And I love her. I love her, Pop, I do. Then what is it? What has got you so consumed that you can't do your job? A woman. And I can't escape her. I try. Pop, she's in here. She's in the sea, Pop. And the wind blows in her hair. And the waves crash around her. Siren? Mythical beauties that lure the sailors with their song. The siren songs are so beautiful, they are irresistible. And all but one sailor wrecked their ships and swam to their deaths. And the one became the goddess's lover forever. I can't be near him. I'll just keep busy, focus on this job. You can surround yourself with all the projects you want, but as long as he's in your head, he might as well be dancing on this desk. Okay, I'll spend even more time with Hope and RJ. Okay, what about a night when you're alone? How are you going to fight the feelings you have for him? I'll find someone else. You. I agreed to help so Bridget could find some peace. But I, I don't allow my emotions to be played with for long. Fine. Well, I just won't go near him then. I'll just stay away. As hard as you may try, you're going to have to deal with these feelings you have for Nick. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. A really long drive. Clear my head. Brooke. I'll be fine. Let me go with you. No. I have to be alone. You can't be with Gabby. That's the deal Dad offered. I thought he was speaking for you, too. Well, you know, your dad and I have not been communicating very well lately. I want to resolve this calmly, not with some fashion showdown. Look, if that's the only way that Gabby could be accepted as part of the family, then I have to risk it. Even if I did agree with this contest, which I don't, I really think you need to think twice about this, Thomas. I mean, think about who you're going up against. A major fashion designer, Forrester Creations. It's a huge gamble. It's one I have to take. Where are you even sleeping? 
You're completely isolated from your family. Please, come home. Not without Gabby. You're being manipulated. I love her, and she loves me. Thomas, you have a big heart, and that is a gift. And one day you'll be able to give it completely to a woman who, who will be very lucky to have it. But right now, it's making you prone to manipulation. I mean, Gabby might say and she might do all the, all the right things, but if she really loved you, she wouldn't hold you to this marriage. Why are you doing this? Don't you want me to be happy? Of course I do. Then accept Gabby. Thomas, there is not a thing I wouldn't do for you, but I cannot sit back and watch this. Now, you may have come to know Gabby as this sweet little girl who just lost her mother, but the desperation of the situation and the pressure that she's been under has caused this other side of her to come out. Gabby is taking advantage of your kindness. You may not see it, but I do. And I am not going to back down until Gabby is no longer your wife. You have got to look away, son. This woman, if she is a siren, will lure you to your destruction. Try. We are not trying hard enough. Try harder. You've got a wife who's expecting a child. I know that. Dominic, she will make you forget. She will make you forget everything that is real, everything that is important. Dominic, help me, Pop. All right, all right, now listen to me. Listen, please. You must leave this place. Yes. Get as far away from her as possible. For God's sake, Dominic, your future with Bridget is at stake, your very happiness. This woman, this siren, get out of this office, forget her. Do you understand me, Dominic? I understand. Get away. Yeah. Gotta be alone. Yes, Donna. It's Brooke. I know. Stay away from her. I'm not going to let her go. Thomas, there is nothing for us to talk about. I am not going to change my mind. You're acting like there's something wrong with me. No, I'm acting like a mother who's concerned about her son's well-being. Yeah, well, you don't have to. Well, sweetheart, you and I don't see Gabby quite the same. Uh, excuse me. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, they need you down in the cutting room. Go ahead, Thomas. Sit all out. It'll give your mom and I a chance to talk. Are you afraid of me? What I'll do to Thomas? Gabby, I really don't see that no, you wait, and I have wait, anything please. to discuss. Please? Maybe you could see that I could be good for him. Maybe one day. Maybe one day when you've had some time to experience life. But if we're not together, I have to leave. I'll never get that chance. To what? Be married to a forester? See these books? I just got back from class. 
That's why Thomas and I got married in the first place. I haven't forgotten. And I'm not a forester. I haven't had everything given to me. So what, you just take it? Without worrying about who you might be hurting? Thomas has dropped out of college. He's not getting the same experience you are. You know why? Because he's too busy slaving away to try to win some kind of fashion contest because he wants you to have what you need. He wants that for me. Because you've convinced him of that. I can be the kind of woman that someone like Thomas deserves. Someone like Thomas? Someone financially secure? I'm my own woman, Mrs. Forrester. I can make my own way. Then I suggest you give up the Forrester name you've been so quick to take. Because, Gabby, I am not going to let you have it. Maybe Bridget doesn't love you anymore, but damn it, I do! It's you, Nick. It's you. Oh, God. I came here to get some perspective. All I can think about. My daughter's husband. Oh, it's wrong. It's so, so wrong. You're taking advantage of my son. I love your son. Thomas is not some vehicle for your romantic fantasies. All I want is to be a good wife to Thomas. Oh, I thought a college education was the most important thing in the world to you. What happened to that? Mrs. Forrester, this fashion contest, it's because he misses you. He misses all of you. All he wants is for us to get along, for you to accept me as his wife. Well, that will never happen. What is the real problem that you have with me? I have already told you. But I don't think that you're saying everything that you want to. Okay, Gabby, since you and Thomas have been together, he's moved out of his home, he's dropped out of college, he separated himself from his family, and for some reason, he feels this, this inappropriate amount of responsibility when it comes to you. And that is something that I think you have played to your advantage. And worst of all, you've brought deception into his life, and for that reason alone, you will never be good enough for him. I had to get out of that city. I was going crazy. I drove up here. I saw your car in the mining parking lot. What the hell are you doing here? I 
need to get out of L.A. too. To just clear my head. To forget about you. Something's happened to me. Something I can't control. It's in my mind, in my head. I can't stop thinking about you. I think about you all the time. I need you. I need you. I want you. Be strong. I know, I know. I I try to let go. But I can't help what's inside me. I can't you help it. have to forget, okay? How am I gonna forget you when I want you? When I feel this way when I'm next to you. And I know you feel it too. How do we stop that? Tell me how we stop that. <laughs> <laughs> 